Are the Kennedys in the room? Where's George and your, your son? Would you come right quick? Come on up here. Would you help me welcome these two incredible guys that I've recently gotten to know? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, uh, this is going to be an incredible moment. I want you to introduce yourself and your son, if you would. I'm Stephen Kennedy. This is my son, Jackson. Hello. <laughs> come up here. Your life's been wrecked in a good way by what has happened in these waters. You had no idea what God was doing in this place. You came here as a result of a, a counseling session yes. on a Sunday afternoon, right? Yes, yes. I came in this room just like you all were singing, and I've never heard or felt the Holy Spirit just put me to my knees, just weeping. And then he said, you're going to get in the water. And I'm like, well, I've been baptized. What's that all about? And I got dressed. They asked me the three questions, and for 30 minutes, God just took all the garbage out and put his spirit in. So if, if you've got a problem, King Jesus is going to fix it. <laughs> but you had no idea that you no. were coming to a church service. You were at a counseling session yeah. in our building at 3 o'clock, I mean, no, yeah. and, and, and they said, hey, you're going to come to church. They're, you're going to go to revival. I'm like, what revival? And I walked in this room and was blown away. I've never seen anything like it. And I, I, I love coming here. I love it. <laughs> now, this guy next to you, tell me a little bit about his situation. So you get baptized, and then what happens? Well, I went home, and they thought that somebody had done like a body snatch, right? The, the old me, because I had bitterness and short temper, and it's was like, what happened? So my family thought I'd been kidnapped, and so my son came and, and got baptized, and he came with a list, but I'll let you... Let him tell the story. Come here, bro. All right. <laughs> so your list was what? Um, I mean, I had my biggest thing on there was ADHD. I've had that for a long time. It's been difficult to focus in the classroom, social situations, etc. Yeah, so you would take a test, and that would be, you'd be all over the place focusing on distractions and things of that nature. And also you had, you were telling me about a constant nosebleed when the conditions would get a certain um, temperature. Yes, I mean, like, this runs in my family, at least on my mom's side. Like, when my body temperature gets to a certain threshold, I, my nose will just start bleeding. So I couldn't really take a hot shower for a while. For a while. And so you came after your dad came. He talked you into coming, right? I mean, I, I just kind of thought it was, like, a logically good situation. I'm like, well, this man's healed, and I have problems, so I can just get those fixed, too. I don't, I don't know if you caught that. It's a logical situation. I look at my dad and he gets healed, so I got a lot of problems I may need to go to. <laughs> that's the type of faith that moves God right there. That's, that's the type of response, not analyzing, criticizing, trying to figure it out, you know, but just, I have seen. How bad was he, by the way? I mean, I, I would say he's, he's, he was always a pretty good guy, but I mean, everybody has their problems, and I think a lot of his got fixed. <laughs> <laughs> so when you, when you drive onto the campus, you've been here now a few times, what, yeah. do, you, what do you sense when you drive onto campus? I, I mean, I de definitely sense like a change in atmosphere here. Like, you, you can feel it in the air. It's, it's just like a richness that you feel. What happened in the water to you? I mean, I don't think I had anything. I mean, it was obviously remarkable, but I mean, I, I did feel it there. And afterwards, I had a mental clarity, but I was like, I, I need to test this out. Because, I mean, ADHD can be ambiguous to some people, so I was like, can I focus on one thing at a time? Because ADHD is where, like, you get all these stimuli and you can't pick out one thing to focus on. But, like, when I'm talking to somebody now, I can focus on what they're saying and not what, el what everything else is going on. And that was difficult for you to do that prior? That, that was pretty much impossible. Wow, that's beautiful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
You know, guys, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I think the Lord's going to do that again tonight. So your nosebleed, tell me about that. I mean, I know my mom's had it. She had that growing up. I mean, like, my doctor said it will with my allergies, but we don't really know. I mean, like, it wasn't like a bad nosebleed. It wasn't crippling, but I mean, it definitely happened. It was pretty annoying. Like, it would happen at school. <laughs> yeah. How about since your immersion? I mean, since then, it has not happened. I can take a hot shower now. That's great. What do, you, what do you want to say to anybody? If you've got a problem, Jesus will meet you in this water. They will meet you. Thank you, North Georgia Revival. Thank you, Christ Fellowship. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. Come on, one more time. Stand to your feet.